RealAgriculture.com's coverage of Canada's Outdoor Farm Show is brought to you by Pride Seeds, c and Seeds, and Becker Underwood. We're here today on RealAgriculture.com. We're at Canada's Outdoor Farm Show. We're joined right now by Daryl Patterson. He is with a l Canada Laboratories, Inc. Welcome today, Daryl. How you doing? Good. Daryl, what is behind you? Uh, this is a uh, just basically a RC plane, but we put technology that is uh, remote sensing uh, cameras along with a, a, a it turns into UAV with a, an autopilot. So we're flying this thing into the air, uh, 1,500 to 2,000 feet, and getting basically NDVIs, uh, indexes of fields for uh, different things such as uh, yield indexing or for uh, crop scouting. Okay. Sort of thing. So it flies itself completely. It's a hand launch unit that we put in the air about uh, it'll cover it'll cover about 300 acres in 40 minutes and it'll fly back down to us we'll recapture the photos process the photos and bring them back to the, the consultant or the farmer so it's kind of like crop espionage that's right <laughs> okay let's go you got a cool uh, screen here let's go see uh, exactly how it works Okay, so the way it works is uh, it's very similar to the satellite technology that's been out there, however, it's a lot higher resolution. As well, it also, uh, it's a lot more convenient because you can fly just about any time you like during the day. The way it works is we draw a polygon around a field. Uh, it can be a shape file from standard GPS technology. We program the flight based on the cameras. Here you're seeing, this is the actual route it will take, and this is how it's going to be launched. And so, is it steered by remote control, or how does it work? It's programmed by GPS coordinates. Uh, it'll fly itself for uh, any length of time while the batteries last. Oh, so it's programmed by GPS. So you put GPS. The, the points in, and it'll just fly in. that pattern. That's correct. It'll fly that pattern, and it'll come back down and land from uh, its point of origin. So wherever you launch it from, it'll come back down and so land. So th this is it kind of going back and forth in the field. And it takes multiple pictures. So each picture has to be georeferenced and stitched together after the fact. Cool. So how long? It, there's the pattern it flies. Kind of just That's a pattern. A, almost like a combine with just going up and down the field. That's right. This is how we watch it from the ground to make sure uh, it's doing what it's supposed to do when it comes back to us. And okay. this is the landing here. And how long does it stay in the air for? It can be up in the air up to an hour and a half. Okay. But okay. Generally, uh, it'll do on a relatively calm day. On a relatively calm day, stronger winds. What about trees in Ontario? Doesn't that become a problem? That becomes a big problem. That's where you actually need to be uh, an RC pilot. Oh, oh, oh okay. So otherwise. Cool. Otherwise, you hit trees. Okay, and so basically it's taking images, stitching them together, and then we can get ideas on disease or... That's correct, this, that's the color photo, this is the NIR photo, um, near infrared, and then we do a calculation based on the two, and this tells us our high and low production zones, and down here... Based on biomass? Based on biomass. Okay, cool. Based on production in the chlorophyll, and then next we have, we'll scout that and find out this for this, and since it was potato aphid. And here's a barley field and it's, it's the same thing. And these are high, low vegetative indexes. So we're using this kind of information in field, in the crop year, the to crop make year. Right. Uh, management decisions. And the idea is that you will be able to uh, fly a field and have the data back within 24 hours so that you can you can make a, uh, a management decision whether it's spraying or not to spray. We also have the ability to do variable rate with uh, a program like this. Okay, so we're using uh, variable rate uh, fungicide application in this case. Could be, correct. Okay, yes. so first of all, the question would be, this sounds really cool, um, um, sounds interesting. What is the cost to What something? is the cost? It depends. Uh, we are doing only a research project this next couple years. Uh, there are other people doing the same technology that are charged anywhere from 10 to $15 an acre. However, that can include as well full consulting um, on top of that. So. Uh, obviously, it has to be feasible financially yeah. and has to have yeah. payback. So, uh, we're working right now on a project to correlate yield with all of the NDVIs. So, we'll be able to in season be able to tell what uh, the yield is of the crop potentially before the end of the season, whether it justifies or not going out for another spray. Okay, that's very cool. Hey, Daryl, thanks a lot for joining us today. No problem, thank you.